Hello guys, this is Rolls Video and welcome to my channel. For today's video, as you can see here, I have here my battery pack. I already uh, pre-assembled this, but actually this battery pack has a damaged cell here. Look at this, those cells that already swells. And I need to replace some of this bad cell here, uh, mostly on this side. And I already did that. So um, what we're going to do right now is I'm gonna um, uh, secure all the spot weld that I've done here. And also, previously, I have here its uh, previous BMS, which is already bad. And I need to buy a new one. And I have here already the replacement. This new BMS, which is a 24S. Uh, 72 volts uh, 50 amps and basically these cells are already 24 and 70 volts and just uh, 20 amps so this is a good BMS uh, match for this uh, battery pack and we're going to be assembling this and that's what we're going to do right now all right Alright, so we are already finished here uh, spot welding all the positive and negative. And these red wires are the balanced wires from the previous um, DMS that I have. I already cut here these uh, from the connections from the B minus, and there will be another connection that is also for the C minus or for the charge or discharge um, point for the BMS that's gonna be attached here as you can see in the BMS there is the B that's and uh, that's gonna be the first negative side will be 
on the B side here. I'm going to solder on this side. And the other one at the end will be on the C. C minus that's gonna be or the charge or the charge point here. And uh, for that one, I will still need to um, replace these wires. So I'm just going to cut it since this is just basically the same. We're just gonna follow the first uh, wire here on the BMS side. On the BMS, that's the B minus here. That's gonna be attached here on the first on the negative side. And the next exceeding wires will be on all the positive side. Positive will be the next positive here. Positive, positive. I'm not going to remove all the wires here. I'm just going to cut it and just going to connect it to each other. And before we can do that, since uh, we already um, connect all and spot weld it, I'm gonna check the voltage here before that. Let's see here on the negative here my last pos positive the connection is in here and it shows 82 volts or 82.2 volts and that's a good sign that everything is all connected now in series all right so that's the st next step we're going to do we're going to um, replace this and attach the new uh, balance wire so we can attach as well this new BMS alright so what we're going to do right now is uh, we're gonna connect the new balance wire that came with our new uh, 72 volts uh, 50 amps BMS for this uh, battery pack which is a lithium iron phosphate so um, I already removed the previous uh, balance wire because uh, the inputs on that on the connection is very different and we're going to start with the first uh, negative here on the balance wire if you're gonna take a look at here it should be like this and the B minus uh, the B minus or B0 is on this black one so that's we're going to connect the first negative on the or negative side here here it's already in the black one with the wire so that's what we're going to do we're just going to start here since there's already wires that already attached I'm just going to connect here and just to be very careful uh, we need to be careful with this because this, we might get uh, uh, electrocuted if we don't um, be careful with uh, dealing with this top here all right after the one that uh, connect with this uh, the negative side here on the B1 or B uh, or the B0 starts here. I'm gonna tape it with an electrical tape. I only have this uh, yellow electrical tape, which is very visible. There, the first negative is done here. So the next exceeding wire should be on the pos first pos positive side of our battery, which is from this starts from negative and then positive. This is the first positive, so we're just going to connect it here as well.
alright and after the first positive here we're going to connect again into the second positive side even the color is black here it should be connected to the second positive and all the succeeding uh, series batteries will have to be connected on the positive wires and we're going to do that all the way here until we finish on the last positive side here alright guys so I already have here at that center of the uh, most of the balance wires and I only have four left here just to finish this set up here so I'm gonna finish this now all right Just keep in mind guys that if you're doing this, always make sure that you are attaching the correct uh, wires because everything here is just in series. All the wires that are attaching right now are on the positive side of all the cells here. We have two left here. The last two positive. So basically, all in all, there are 24 wires starting from B1 here. Alright, this is the 23 wire. wire as well on your positive side that's going to your outlet or your charging point or the charger port of your battery
electrical tape as well. here we finish attaching our balance uh, wires here for our BMS uh, look at that here are the wires on the last uh, the 24 and this is from the starting point here from our B1 here B1 stays here from B1 to B16 and then this is from B the B17 until B24. Alright, so the next step that we're going to do with our battery here, we're not going to attach yet this balance wire. But what we're going to do is we're going to solder the B1 on the B side here on our BMS which is here basically you're going to solder here the B1 and on the C or the P on this BMS you're going to solder here because the charger and the discharger point is basically only one we're going to uh, solder this uh, part here that's from the negative side going to the B on this uh, BMS here and we're going to do it right now After we solder the B here, we're going to solder on the C, which is for the charge and discharge. And that's gonna be with this other wire here as well. Alright, so guys, uh, what we're doing right now here is we already finished attaching the BMS here on the uh, first negative side of this battery pack. And it's already on this uh, discharge and charging port here. Here, the BMS and its balance wires are already connected. But before we go through uh, charging it, I did some individual balancing on this cell so I can check that all the cells will be already on 3.6 volts. That's a max charge for a lithium iron phosphate. So, um, I have here, if you can see here, this is an IMAX B6. And we're going to take a look closely here. All right, there. Um, all right, so you can see that. That's the connection that I'm doing here, and I'm trying to uh, charge it individually to balance all the cells that I have on this uh, battery pack. All right. So I'm gonna try to uh, finish uh, what I'm doing uh, with this uh, setup here. So I, all the cells will be uh, already balanced individually before I can test this uh, BMS. All right.
this might take a while because uh, we're doing it on individual cells one cell at a time I'm just using a lead acid battery 12 volt uh, as my power source. I don't use the. Um, it has also a charging uh, cable or a adapter, power adapter to the uh, 220 volts uh, outlet. But I'm just using the DC 12 volt battery here. There, right now, it's uh, trying to balance uh, one cell here. So, if it this one cell reaches 3.6, then that's uh, fully charged because uh, the nominal voltage for a lithium iron phosphate is actually 3.2 volts. Let's uh, take a look at close here. What's the our uh, balancing um, IMAX B6 uh, doing here? All right, can't. All right, there. As you can see there on the setup, there it's charging a one cell, uh, and it's around 3.44 volts now. There, yeah, 3.44 volts. And if it reaches a 3.6, and that's a fully charged, and it's when it's uh, reaches 3.6 volts, then you will hear a beep sound. That's already a full charge. So we're already finished here trying to uh, balance all the single cells, and all the cells showing around 3.2 volts. So what we're going to do right now, the next step is we're going to charge it here using our charger here. This is a 72 volts, um, 5 amps actually. This is for a lithium iron phosphate. So we're going to do that and to charge it here. Alright. Going to um, plug it here. Alright, so as you can see there, on the charger, it shows here red and this is charging here. And it goes green now. Alright. So that's uh, showing that all these uh, cells here are already uh, fully charged if it shows green on the charger. And let's take at a look at here the voltage on this. Alright. How much voltage it shows. Going to check that the negative side here and the positive side here. Alright, so as you can see here. 
All right, that's uh, with a full charge. It's 87.2 volts. Yes, 87.2 volts. That's the max charge, or 87 volts above. That's a max charge voltage for this uh, battery pack here. All right. Okay, since the battery pack here is already um, fully charged in all its balance, the next step we're going to do is we're going to set it up to cover with a PVC cover here. Alright, so as you can see here, we will going to put the BMS on top here with this uh, plastic board or a ceramic board here and we're just using a tape here. Alright, then after we tape it all, we're going to 
put the PVC cover on this wrapper here, on this battery pack. This duct tape, this duct tape is very useful and it's so sticky so it's a uh, heavy duty and can hold properly this uh, battery pack here. Alright, so right now I'm going to insert this uh, PVC uh, wrap on this battery pack here. Alright, so after we insert the battery pack on this PVC wrap here, we're going to use a hot air gun so that we'll be able to shrink this uh, PVC wrap for this uh, battery pack. Alright guys, so we're just uh, finishing the lift. A uh, few more touches here, just securing that uh, it's all uh, no open space here on our battery pack. And just I'm using a duct tape here. prefer using the duct tape since it's very sticky uh, when you're going to um, 
you place it in something on uh, end surface uh, right there all right there we go all right here is our charging and discharging port here and we finish our battery pack okay Alright, since we already finished this battery pack here, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is gonna try here to um, measure the voltage again. Just to make sure that everything's alright. Alright, and it shows here, since this is already a full charge battery pack, alright, so shows uh, around 85.8 volts. Alright, max charge that was way back on the charger was 87 volts. Since it was already pulled out on the charger, and a max charge left of 85.8 volts. Alright. So that's a good sign that the battery is fully charged. Okay, since we already finished this battery pack here, this is 72 volts, 20 amps, a lithium iron phosphate. So, um, uh, this is a long way to go and we're going to test this out on the next video on my e-bike. The bike that was a on the way of look like motorcycle and for now we we'll end our video here on this assembling on our battery pack if you like this video click like the button and subscribe thank you for watching